Ecology. I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight, Star Trek Mega Blocks. Yes. Oh, I wanted one of these. In its higher 50th anniversary, we're all going, they'll release them in the UK eventually. They'll release yeah, them in the UK, yeah, no. no. Um, so, thanks to the amazing world of grey importing. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about, <laughs> Oh, let's re actually we should do a proper review. Yeah, that's that that probably a good idea. Let's, that, let's do a proper review, so, shall so we? Just for the viewers at home, I've had these for four days. He's had a phone call every day going, Come round here. We need to Okay, so, so let's do the packaging first of all. They've gone with interesting angular designs, yep. keeping in shape with the Delta. Yep, which is nice. They've gone with the, the standard packaging for the 50th anniversary with yep. their own tint. I must confess when it comes to the 50th anniversary packaging, really like the way Think Geek tend to do it. But mm. that's a, a complete sign on. So we've got that, we've got a picture of, uh, an artistic impression of a picture of the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, window cut out so we can see the, the scale, size and quality of one of the figures. Cool. It's quite clearly listed that it is 12 up and there are 351 pieces in this particular model. And do you find it interesting they've gone with core? Think about it just for a moment. Yeah, okay. Did we ever see core on the bridge of a ship? No. Of this class? No. no. We only ever saw him on Bleeding Retiring, didn't we? I don't care. <laughs> don't care. Perfectly happy the have gone with core. Yeah, very well. So the back of the box is quite clearly laid out what this particular vessel is. Which is a D7 class battle cruiser of the Klingon type, which could in fact be a Romulan one if you started out to stickers. Well, yes. And it shows the other sh uh, the other models in the line. Yeah. Except okay. for the big one. Yes, yeah, that is kind of strange that the big one's not on there really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or, the, or the little version of the big one. Two sizes of, of uh, Enterprise produced apparently. I've never seen anything of the little one. The, 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 <coughs> the there were, what now? There were two shown at trade events. Whether the, the small one was released is another question entirely, but there was supposed to be another size. I only know about the big one. No, there was supposed to be one that wasn't for, for people who couldn't afford the big one. Oh, well, I want a little one. I thought you might, but you still haven't got the, the mail away. Well, sorry, the. Pre-order incentive, a Creo original enterprise. Do you? No, because they go for ridiculous. There's money for something that's made up of about five parts. Okay, so mind you, I haven't got the the three enterprises that come with this. They did them in bags. There was a blue one, a yellow one, and a red one. Well, the Mega Blocks ones. Mm -hmm. oh, right, yeah. I did my promotional pieces. Yeah. Okay, so the box is easy enough to crack that bottom section. That's Getting the rest of it out of it appears to be a problem. Oh well, yeah, it's the, they, they made that one part really easy and then... You prefer it when they open it. easily, don't you? I really do. No, that isn't going to do. This is why Amazon have no frustration packaging. Cool, blimey, governor. Okay. So, having now looked at the inside of the box, they gave you a really easy way to, to pierce it, and the only way to physically get your items out was to completely destroy the packaging. If you want to keep the packaging intact for this, the only way you could do it is to open this side and split the glove yeah. for anybody that wants to keep the packaging intact for this. Right. So we have bags. We have a base. And we have instructions. Okay. Kirk, Spock and Akura on that. Tells you how to assemble that figure. Not quite sure how they, why they do that. No, it comes, it comes assembled. assembled. I'm have trying rest... to get the disruptor out of the box, which is proven difficult. Part. Did you ever see core with a disruptor? Yes. Okay. 
Anyway, while he's starting to open his bags, uh, let's have a look at core. Now, core! Mega Bloks, being one of the clones of the original um, Kiddiecraft self locking or auto locking bricks, I'm trying to remember exactly what the patent said. Um, Kiddiecraft, of course, were the first people to do the brick which you may refer to as Lego. It's not Lego, Lego ripped it off. Um, a fact which you really like. Yeah, yeah, because Hilary Page at uh, Kitty Craft Toys, in fact it was referred to as a Kitty Craft Sensibles toy, uh, the interlocking or self-locking brick, which they first at one point even had a ridge down the side you could, so you could put in things like the little windows and stuff and you built a house mm. and nice. stuff like that. Um, what happened was is that they designed this, they patented it, and patented it, patented, patented. patented, patented you know what I'm trying to say, yeah. patented it. And um, when the moulding injection company who built the machine that allowed uh, Kiddiecraft to produce the bricks, they went and attempted to sell it to a company in Denmark, uh, which made wooden toys called Lego. Um, and unfortunately, when trying to show them what can the I machine could stand? do, yeah, no, well, you can keep the figure. Just give me the stand. What the machine could do, um, they actually showed off a a sample of of one of the products produced by the machine, which happened to be Kiddiecraft self-locking bricks, mm. which Lego then cloned. Um, so the moment anybody starts going off on one, saying. Oh no, Creo and Mega Blocks and all this kind of stuff are just ripping off Lego. No, they're, they're all really ripping not. off Keycraft self locking, auto locking bricks. So they're all as bad as each other. Well, I wasn't actually going to, to say that they'd ripped off anything. I was, I was, I was just quite happy with, with making my little toy, but yeah. okay. It's been a thing. People, people on the internet have been going mental about it. Because these have been turning up in the UK. Mm. I've been going, well they're not Lego, they're not really, not really the, the proper locking the, the brick system are they? It's like, hey, it was Lego. Well, yes, they weren't the first people to yeah. do it. So, mm. please get off that particular high horse. Oh, is that um, what that rant is in aid of? Oh, so this is what Sam looks like on his white horse with his charger. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. You've got it wrong. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that's basically the situation with that. Um, it actually turned out that um, Hilary Page committed suicide before he knew, which is fortunate because his family kept it from him because he was in such a bad way because Kitty Craft basically went into, into, got into trouble after the war. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, he basically disappeared. Um, and he went to his death basically not knowing what Lego had done with his design, which is probably the best thing to be brutally honest, so I might have tipped him over the edge earlier. Um, that or we might have given him the fight to uh, battle them. Possibly, possibly. Um, but yeah, what would you do if you was, knew somebody had ripped off your mm, Yeah, it was painted t painted in by the Page in 1939 and actually granted in 1940. Which is a significant amount of time before Lego started producing the Brit. So it's like, yeah, no, no, definitely <laughs> not Lego first. But there we go. Now you'll notice with this figure, it doesn't follow the design of, of the, the mini figures that you're probably used to from Lego or Creo. No, they really um, don't. These are actually little mini action figures. They are. Um, which can interact with, with the, um, the building block. Um, and therefore they're a little bit more interesting than your Creo or your Lego version, to be honest. Yeah, because no, I agree with that. They tend to be a bit they're more, more posable. For more, well, they're more posable, they're, they're better jointed, um, and they can be stylized more and just look far more interesting, which is probably why Mega Blocks got uh, the license for um, Halo and yeah. so on and so forth. So, yep. That is definitely cool. And not just a Lego minifigure with a moustache mm. drawn on it. Don't put me on that. Yeah. See what I mean? 
to be honest. few seconds later, we built a Klingon battle cruiser. And this amazing rotatey stand. It was. Now, you and I were obviously talking about this as, as we were building it. I personally was amazed at how many special and unique pieces yeah. were in this construction set. The instructions were straightforward, although could have done with a little bit more contrast. Yeah, yeah, the color, the, it was very difficult to work out in some places what piece they meant. But that um, could have been the lighting that could in be here, to, to be, be fair. fair. But um, they could have done with, with yeah. the, the print quality being dealt with a little bit. It's the same as the problem with the Creo set was. Yeah. To be fair, Creo sets. Build quality, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Just, it was lovely to do. Yeah, the design is is stunning as well. It, the, I must say, when we were building it, I was getting frustrated with some of the part, some of the individual bricks not clicking together as well as I was hoping. In some of the bigger yeah. spaces, yeah. No, 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 no. Even no. Though, it was little, even the little ones. It was just mm. they, they just wouldn't squeeze together properly unless they were perfectly aligned, which other brick brands don't tend to do quite so badly, but. Yeah, it's minor niggle. Minor, minor, minor niggle. niggle. I think that that minor niggle is outweighed yeah. by the sheer volume of just specialist pieces. Yeah. And and general design. Yeah. That's a, there's no mistaking that as a D seven battle cruiser. No, it really does look good. Playability is there. One thing that took both of us by surprise, and it took us a few seconds to figure out why was that they, they hinge the wings mm. on, which gives it a little tiny bit of movement. But then, and we were both debating this, and then we thought, if a kid's playing with this, yeah. having it angled that way, really easy to suddenly lose. Yeah. Break that off, you're going to lose half of that panel flying up, half that panel flying down. But by doing that, it gives it a little bit of leeway. A bit of play. When it's on yeah. the stand, you can't tell. Um, it's not like angling them in, in a way makes any difference, but it does give it that extra bit, so it's not as rigid. Question, you know when the mm. thing on Battle Cruiser was first seen, which yeah. was as a Romulan? Yeah. Um, let's be honest. Um, Did they move? I don't was think the, so. No, no, mm. I think the model might have sagged slightly. So when it first Can't appeared, comment. it might have been a bit higher up, and then... When it's second appeared, it might have drooped down a little bit. Honestly, I could I'm just wonder if that might be a thing. I, I honestly think they've just probably put it in there to, to give mm. it, as you said, the, the angle. Yeah. Or it could just be a byproduct of how they attach it at yeah. that angle. It, it's just there's no way they could get around giving it I can certainly rhythm. say that that play will stop it from breaking apart yeah. during play. Um, by a child, so I, I think that is a bonus. child. <laughs> These were all bought by adults for adults to sit on a shelf. Don't tell Jim. <laughs> oh, does Jim want one? I don't know. I think uh, just, if, just don't tell Jim. Did, if they'd done a refit enterprise, he would have been all over it like a branch. Mm. I just, I'm very, very impressed with it. Yeah. I, I love I this stand, the fact set. that you can rotate it on it. Yes. The fact that they haven't done anything stupid with the figure, like try to put it inside the bridge, because that was never going to work. No. And I like this flag. Uh, and you, the fact there's a nameplate telling you what it is. And it, Okay, and again, with the, it's a silly thing, but mm. it's something that, for me, made a world of difference. The fact that the bricks were individually painted yeah. Rather than stickered. Because that was annoying with the Creo, wasn't it? Yeah. So he misaligned that. That was just stuck and you couldn't do anything about it. Right, so here's the awkward bit. How are we going to score this? Mm. The problem is, 
is that the pricing is all over the place. Well, because um, it's a grey. It's a grey import. Here's your problem. Well, I tell you what. Let's the fact it was never released officially in the UK, so there was no official RRP. Why don't we go with the American price in UK pads? Because that tends that's usually to be... how it works once you've got the VAT and import. Okay, yeah. so let's go with the American pricing yeah. and just convert it to pounds. So it started off at forty dollars. Yeah. So here it would have been thirty nine 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 if it was released. I have no Easily. issue with that. Yeah. I have no issue with that at all. So getting it for less than 40 quid is a bargain. I think at 40 it's a bargain, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. That is an incredibly well done set. If that was another brand... If that was another brand, you'd be, be talking... 50 easily. Oh, yeah, you'd be talking 80, I reckon. 300 pieces, over. Hmm. Yeah. I'm for what it is. I'm going to give it a ten out of ten. Okay. I don't. I don't um, feel it had any drawbacks to it. It's getting a nine and a half. Okay. Where's it losing the half? That torpedo tube should be a tube. Should be a tube rather than the painted on piece. Yeah. I don't see any reason why they couldn't have cut that out on the pieces. Well, okay, because they because they actually specially they're actually, they're actually separate, separate, separate through it. So how the hell could that not be a hole? That's slightly annoying. And you could have put a red oh, piece in it. You could have. And that would have been... That would have done it, I think. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think that's overly picky, but I'll accept a half a mark for not not being fully as innovative as they could have been. Yeah, because all they need to do is just have that hole and, and the piece in it. That's, okay. That's red. And that would have looked all significantly right. better from the front view. I just said well, there you go. 10 out of 10 from me, 9.5. I, I think that's a resounding if... If you enjoy making interlocking block models, this is a must. Yeah. If you just want to have a giggle, you know what? Yeah, it was good fun. I mean, we, it we have really, really shows up the Creo sets. It does. I mean, really. And it's no surprise now what why CBS took the licence, or sorry... Paramount and CBS took the license of Hasbro because of what they're doing with Creo and handed it over to Megablox. Yeah, this is a hands down better. Me. Now, considering this is a 50th anniversary range, mm -hmm. this, the Enterprise, and the other play sets, yeah. essentially, the one thing that I lament is the fact that these didn't sell well enough in the States for them to continue the line. Yeah. Um, because they're on clearance. No, oh, in um, America. Yeah, yeah. In America. Uh, we're finally getting them because they didn't sell as well as they should have done in the States. Mm. It's the only reason they're coming over here. It was Canadian stock we're getting. Um, because with the 30th anniversary of Next Gen, could you imagine doing Oh, them God, first? yeah, that'd been awesome. Yeah, because they could have done the Enterprise D, yeah. the Enterprise C, yes. the E. Actually, do you know what genuinely I would have liked to have seen in this range, considering the how they bird? built this? No, you're going to think this is really weird. I'd have liked to have seen a phaser. Didn't you ever build Lego phasers? And no. Oh, yeah, I'd, yeah. Do I'd... you know what I built out of Lego when I was little? The Enterprise. The Enterprise, yeah. Okay. And X-Bomber. Yeah. Okay. okay. And the Ark. As you do. Yeah. yeah. And by that, I mean the Autobot Ark. Yeah, that is just... Yeah, hands down. It does the job. Yeah, if you can see one at a fair or wherever, I'd grab it if I was. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. just fantastic. If you're so stuff. much as remotely interested in the Klingons, I must admit I'm not getting any of these simply because I don't have the space and I'm not that huge. Uh, you're not into the blocks. I'm not done. Yeah, I don't really do the blocks. I must admit I've got I've got the jellyfish yeah. mini set. <laughs> Um, and the Klingon battle cruiser, which is a D7 battle cruiser. I don't care what anybody says. It's, it's a, a D7, D7 battle cruiser. I quite like the Enterprise. I quite like the, the Kelvin. But I mean, no yeah. hurry to track them down. Um, but th from this size upwards, and that Enterprise is huge. Well, I've got no way to put them. I've got to say. <clears throat> well, we managed to get a hold of this one. Um, well, I have to say, I, I've wanted these yeah. since I saw the photos of 
of them when, when, when they were doing the whole press jump thing. Yeah. Now we've built one, I've got to get the rest of this range. It is awesome. Because mm. we weren't too bothered because we were thinking Creo standard, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, and it was like, yeah, we'll pick them up if we ever see them. Yeah, we'll have a go. Now, yeah, now I definitely want to have a go. Oh, I'm, I'm cream cracker. That, that took a little bit longer Sleep's than time. we thought. Um, you know what? We'd I won't drive home yet. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> We'd love to read your comments, so please leave them in the section below. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. Bye. Oh, and don't forget Flickr. Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. Fun with bricks! <clears throat> okay, two. It's the uh, combat. Three, two. Okay, so I let's just, do a. Because I need something visual. Cause the way the way well, not, that's why I've started doing that. Yeah, 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 but no, it's, no, it's no, sometimes no. not obvious because you do that in the middle of fucking takes anyway. Okay. Actually, I will get us a, a what's on Do you want a colour board? I'll get us a colour tap board. Tap board right? may not be a bad Three. idea at this point. <clears throat> <laughs> I can do this bit, this bit's not a bit weird. You get to, you get to join in on the harder stuff. Here. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> oh.